in a match like this, there's no point system. It's normally win or lose. This match is scheduled for three rounds of 10 minutes each. The man with the glasses and the white shirt is Grandmaster Elio Grayson. If you have to fight an opponent who is bigger and stronger than you, it is not a good idea to try to exchange punches with him. Our objective is not to give the other fighter the distance he needs to hit. You want to stay too far or too close. A hit from somebody like that is the last thing you want. The jumping around you see is in hopes to disguise his approach. Due to the big weight difference, it might be difficult to flip the opponent. One has to wait for the right moment. Being on the bottom does not necessarily mean that you're losing the fight, especially when you're fighting a heavier opponent. You may have to wait for a while for the right opportunity to turn things around. Jiu-Jitsu techniques will give you the elements to wait for that opportunity. It is smart to keep the opponent very close so he cannot develop the distance for a powerful hit. Strikes to the kidneys can be very effective on the long run. In one of my father's fights, his opponent took such a beating to the kidneys that after the fight, he was urinating fragments of the kidney. Remember that in reality, it is much more difficult than you realize to use fancy kicks and those supposedly deadly punches especially when you're dealing with someone as strong as this man. There's a good chance they might not work. As you can see, in this kind of fight, they are not trying to make it look good for the camera or the audience. They are trying to survive. In their first fight, Three years before, the brawler was sure of victory and fought much more aggressively, but that didn't work. He was defeated with a choke hold in 12 minutes. Now, in this rematch, Hickson's second professional fight, the brawler is a little more apprehensive. The difference between the Jiu-Jitsu taught at the Gracie Academy and all the other martial arts styles, including other styles of Jiu-Jitsu, is that the evolutionary process of our teaching methods is the result of extensive research by Grandmaster Elio Gracie. Not only did he have to adapt some of the traditional Japanese techniques to accommodate his lack of strength, but more important, 
was his contribution as a teacher, developing the teaching method so efficient that he could teach virtually anyone. The Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy in Torrance, California is the only organization that upholds those teaching standards and is endorsed by my father, Elio Gracie. The referee will stop the fight and drag both contenders to the middle of the mat. But notice that the brawler is going to sneak in a punch during the break. The referee will call his attention, but since this is not a point system fight, there's nothing he can do about it. He can't disqualify the brawler for that. Everyone who looks at martial arts as a means of self-defense is really looking for the effectiveness that can be found at the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy. The brawler now is trying to apply the same choke as he did on the boxer in the previous fight. But the Gracie brother knows better and avoids that. Once again, the brawler goes for the choke hold. Once again, the Gracie brother prevents him from succeeding. Believe it or not, the safest thing to do when fighting somebody like this is to stay as close as possible so he doesn't have the distance to hit you with the effectiveness that he would like to. Knowing the proper techniques of jiu-jitsu gives you the confidence to launch in.
keep in mind that jiu-jitsu was developed so that the little man can fight the big man. Sometimes when you have a strong opponent like this, simply holding on, it forces you into waiting for the right opportunity so that you can make your move. It is the end of the first round. They go back to the action. The big man now is trying some intimidation techniques. The Gracie brother did not hear the bell ring. And he checks with the referee to see if the round has begun. The big man is tired and he wouldn't mind waiting a little longer. The Gracie brothers knows that and is going to start pressing the buttons and push the fight to his pace. As they fall down, the brawler almost accomplishes a crucial top position, but proper leg work prevents it. In a fight of this magnitude, there's much more happening than one realizes. Every little movement, no matter how insignificant it might seem, has a place in the overall result. Just like in a chess game, the way you move a little pawn may decide the result of the whole game. You can actually feel your opponent's thoughts. It is important that you don't think they are just holding on to each other. The Jiu Jitsu man knows that his opponent is tired and is preparing to make his move. his way around the back of his opponent and gradually climbs on his back. And just like those anacondas from the north of Brazil, by the delta of the Amazon, he'll wrap himself around his prey. The end is near. In his last attempt to escape, the desperate man rolls around. He even tries eye gouging, but with the squeeze on the neck, the wild man taps out, and the tradition of the Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy lives on. Corner. Rings Japan. Yamamoto Yoshisa. Aka Corner. Gracie Jujitsu. Hickson Gracie.
6 minutes past. 6 minutes past. Hawks, tá marcando tempo.
2分経過です2 minutes past 山本山本気持ちで負けんだ<笑>三分経過、三分経過です。three minutes past。three minutes past。三分。4分経過。4分経過です。4 minutes past。4 minutes past。5分経過5分経過です5 minutes past 5 minutes past ブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラブラサラやめとくやめとくやめとく。Just one minute. 
試合サンダーエンド3分49秒チョークスリーパーでイクソン・グレイジー選手の勝ちです。敗れましたが健闘いたしました山本選手にも大きな拍をお送りください。もちろん自信はありましたですね、今大会に臨むことにあたって。I'm not confident, I mean, I'm not sure I'm gonna win, I'm confident about racing you should take me in, and that's pushing me all the way to the finals. I think Hickson is tremendously intense in this fight. Once again, he's got all the confidence in the world going in. Takata needs to take him out of that confidence zone. Hickson shooting in. Takata going for the double underhook. Lee, good. If he learned his lesson from the first fight, now Hickson with his own knee. It's to keep this thing standing and to be patient. Don't get rattled. Let the clinch happen. The clinch will happen. That's it. Yeah, he should strike with Hickson. That's the only way because that's his Hickson's weak point. Standing up, that is. Keep it on the feet. Strike. Take down the fence, strike. That should be his game plan. 
Once on the ground, just survive, I would say. I think that it's just a matter of time before Hickson achieves the underhook position and trips Takata. But so far, Takata has lasted a lot longer on his feet than maybe many gave him credit for. Yeah, this time he, 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 he trained for something. It's like I said, like he, when he came in at the dojo, we asked him what his game plan was, and they, they didn't have one, the first one. None. Yeah, wh wh what are you going to do? You want to keep the fight sending up? Yeah, no, we didn't think. You want to go to the ground? No, no, we didn't know. <laughs> I said, wow. You know, against a guy like Hitchin, you don't want to go to the ground. So uh, that's they worked on the takedown defense, and the striking knees. Some people don't like to watch tapes of other fighters, but I think in this case, Takata would be wise to watch a lot of tapes of Hickson and find out how he takes people down, what he does when he gets them on the ground, and to avoid that at all costs in his training. And I think the first... Oh, nice. And good right hand by Hickson. A nice exchange. I would have to say Takata did well with that knee, though. But Takata seems to be losing his composure here. He grabbed the ropes. That's not a good sign. Takata... Maybe losing that confidence he momentarily had. This is a battle of wills. Can Takata break the iron will and determination of Hicks and Gracie? Meaning, can he keep standing and initiate strikes? Good knee to the leg. You see, he's doing what he, he trained for, so he, he's sticking to his game plan. It's perfect. But Hickson is in a good shape. He always is. And this, he, he can go the distance. That's one thing for sure. And that's always, the back of your head is always. Yeah, a minus thing to fight a guy, you know, you know he can't go to this for sure. That's why I always make sure that I'm 100% in shape. <laughs> I think it's a, a very important point. The, the cardiovascular conditioning is far more important in this game than the strength training because the strength training can come from the actual training, execution of groundwork and, and tie pad work. Yeah. And you need to do it. You need to. You can take an average guy who's in tremendous cardiovascular shape against a really good technician who's out of shape, and the average guy's got a real strong shot. Ooh. But can Takata hurt Hickson? The crowd is reacting frantically over every shot that Takata throws, but I don't think those shots are hurting Hickson at all. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Hickson's got that leg raised up to where it flows with the knee. Hickson working for the underhook now. And there he goes. This is not good. Takata's got to, at all costs, work for that left underhook again. He can't let Hickson get the underhook position. This is how Hickson takes people down. Now that, those knees, some of them are landing. Knee to deliver right now, He's got, he can make it. Exactly, a left knee right now. He's got to trap Hickson's arm because Hickson, he's got to get that uh, left hand of his underhooked under Hickson's right hand. It's very important. Five minutes. Nice knee again. Hickson working for the uh, the underhook again. Oh, yeah. I and, 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 and he's got it again. And Takata really spending a lot of energy to stay up here. And he has to. That's his only chance he has. He cannot go to the ground. It's going to be the same thing. Well, I've got to say that this is a far different fight. No! Oh, 
Now don't play. He went down. Oh no no no! That was a buddy shot that did it. Now that was impressive because Takata almost got sucked into Hickson's guard and stood back up. That was a really good knee by Takata. He's got to keep Whoa, his composure he's here. Got no, he should. Oh, there's pain. He should go for the shot, body shot. Hickson probably is going to defend it now real good. It's a very smart. But, but, but Hickson has got both arms under him. Takata's got to work for the underhook again. Whoa! Not a good position for Takata. He doesn't want to be down on the ground at all with Hickson. That's going to be a he's triangle, got, arm bar, anything. He, he's, he's got to get back up. He's got to stand back up. He can't stay down here. He's got to stand back up. He's got to hit his liver. That's what he should do. After that knee, once you're hit, there, heart to the body. It, 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 within 10 minutes after that, you can still hit it and he's going to feel it. He should go full for the body now. Anything he has. But he's letting, he's letting the fight slow down, which is not good because he had the momentum there for a while. And now he's in Hickson's game. He's on the ground. We're getting to see Hickson work from the guard. In the first fight, Hickson was on top. Hickson has got the right heel on the hip. Planning his move. Takata coming up top with the right hand. He's doing pretty good, I have to say. But these are things you have to watch. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Bad move. Bad now. Get up, get up. Oh, no. Oh, horrible, horrible move. He, he wanted to think about going to a pro wrestling double ankle lock. Why? My God. It's a matter of time now. If Hickson gets the mount, and he's got, the, go. he's got the mount. Oh, he's always... Oh, but it was a nice buck off there. But Sakata is Sakata's doing a good job. He's, he, he, he totally improved. Yeah, he did. But Hicks is mounted on top of him again. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him one for free, but I doubt that's all he's going to get. It's going to be the same all over. He's posting the arm straight up. Hicks has got an exceptional arm bar from the mount. That's his bread and butter. Oh my God, he's giving it. He's cross-facing, boss. You know what that means? Amba coming up. Whoa! But Takata really, really trying to get him off of him. This is a much better effort than the first time, but... There he goes. Oh, here he goes. He's oh, no. All. Oh. Takata really oh, trying man. to defend here, though. Going oh. for a heel hook. Going for the heel hook. Takata fighting his heart out here. Fighting his heart out against Hickson Gracie. Hickson gets the mount again. Oh, Amba. Oh, he got him again. Hickson Gracie arm bars Nobuhiko Takata again. Look at him. They can't they can lift him up. He's... I tell you, man, he threw a lot out there. Pull to the guard. But once Hickson got the mount, Takata defended a couple times, but it was just a matter of time before Hickson got that. The straight arm bar.